Hey, what's up, guys? Um, listen, I, I just had an idea. I wanted to show you the power of pricing the right way. Check out this. We're at Six Flags. I don't know if you can read this. We got a small Dippin' Dots for five bucks, medium for five ninety nine, or the bowl for seven forty nine. Now check out the sizes here. These are small. Small for five bucks. Medium. Medium for five ninety nine, or this Giganto Monster. <laughs> for $7.50. Now, $7.50 for Dippin' Dots is crazy, but people are paying them easily because in comparison to the value you get from the small to the value you get from a large, you feel like you're getting a good deal. So keep that in mind when you're pricing your products. I'm gonna step away here so people can get in line. When you're pricing your products, you know, Starbucks does the same thing and they're genius about this. If you can price your products and, and give your perceived value for your largest quantity, uh, it doesn't matter how much ex how expensive it is, because in comparison to the smaller products, um, you know, people are getting a better value. So again, it's all about the value, guys. Give them value and put your price any way you want it. And look at this, they're throwing Dippin' Dots all over the floor now. Throwing Dippin' Dots all over the floor. And in a normal world, see we're at Six Flags right now, so everything's expensive, right? They trap you in this world. We've got stuff all over the place, shops all over the place. $8 pizzas, $12 hamburgers, but it doesn't matter because you're in their funnel. You're therefore, it's acceptable and normal to pay that, just like an $8 Dippin' Dots. So take advice, take advice. <laughs> Look at that pretty face. See, and you get to hang out with that all day too. Cool. So, all right, well, we're going to try this here. Is it delicious? Delicious. Mmm. Mmm. It is delicious. You got your guess on all right, guys, so we just got off of Superman and uh, lesson number three today from Six Flags. A couple things coming up here. First off, check out the impulse buy, man. You can only get your picture from the ride you just took. Uh, they've created a sense of urgency because you have to buy it right now. And they give you an opportunity to purchase it because you're walking right past it. So pay attention to those cues. But look what happens now, though. Look what we walk into. Wow, look at this. Amazing. Another chance to continue the experience that we just had on the ride. And it looks like, look, we got hats here for 12 bucks. We got, I mean, what do you need here? This is a, a Superman ride. We got, uh, I don't even know what that is, a little monkey. Of course, the Superman hats. I mean, look, we got Batman's feeding in here. So, look at this, though. But the key here is that you got to walk through this part of Six Flags Funnel before you can even leave the experience. So, you know, when you guys have your funnels out there, and you've got a website, and you're selling products, uh, pay attention to these little details about how Six Flags does this stuff, you know, because if you got, you're providing value up front, which obviously we've paid money, paid $56 to come to this park today, and we receive the value by going on all the rides but after you get off the rides they give you a second chance to purchase in their sales funnel by buying additional pictures and they also give you a third chance then by walking in and walking into their their uh, souvenir shop and and buying little trinkets of things that people probably never will I know I see you guys uh, so they're calling my name, but uh, isn't that pretty cool though? I mean, it, I don't know about you guys, but when I go to these things, like I can't stop thinking about how this stuff is marketed and um, you know how big business is done. And you can apply these same things to a small level with exactly what you're doing, whether you guys, whatever you're selling online. Today we've been on about, oh, I don't know, probably 10 or 15 different roller coasters. So we're gonna go grab some food, wrap it up, call it a night, maybe watch even a little Batman Begins. I don't know, one of my favorite movies. So um, we'll catch you guys later, peace. All right, guys, one last example of upgrading. We're leaving the park now. Check this out. For only just $34, feel like this all year. Upgrade to a season pass today. Feel like this. Notice we're touching on feelings because you come to the park, you get all excited. You want to continue that feeling. So our tickets are $56, which for a day in a amusing park is probably not a, a cheap item. But... For only $34, you can upgrade for a season pass and do it all year round. So another example of that Starbucks type model of pricing a, a premium product and uh, making people feel like they're experiencing a discount for that. So uh, check it out guys, pretty cool things. I thought we were done <laughs> when we were getting out of Superman, but uh, I thought that was kind of cool, so I wanted to show you that too. So I think this might be the last video we're done. Sarah's giving me a look. Womp, 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 womp. She doesn't like that. All right, bye. <laughs>